Hi, I am Stan Rupert. In 1950s, I got tired of doing physics and I became interested in molecular biology. I started working soon uh, with Solomon Goodlad at Hopkins University. Now, Goodgal has heard about Albert Kleiner's work uh, that showed a bacterial cell culture could mysteriously recover from apparent death, death by ultraviolet radiation. Now, Kellner found that the cells only recovered when they were exposed to visible light. Placing culture samples from the dark light, uh, from the light and dark treatment on culture plates showed that only the cells exposed to light could recover and grow. All at the time, people thought the light destroys cellular poisons created by the UV radiations. Goodgal and I thought that cells recovered because light helped repair DNA damage by UV. We tested our idea by measuring the transformation of Haemophilus influenzae bacteria. Transformation occurs when a bacterium grabs extracellular DNA, brings it to the cell wall and integrates into its own genome. The cell on the right has just been transformed with a piece of DNA containing a gene of antibiotic resistant, significant by the yellow circle. The transformed cell will express this new gene and survive when exposed to the streptomycin antibiotic. Using this gene for antibiotic resistance, we can determine which genes have been transformed or which are not. Transformed cells will be resistant uh, to streptomycin and form colonies on the plate. Cells that uh, weren't transformed uh, will die because of uh, the antibiotic activity. We use this system to show that UV damaged DNA. And not only that, we isolated DNA from a streptomycin resistant strain of Haemophilus influenza bacteria. Irradiated one sample with UV and use the second as a control. After putting the DNA into cultures of hemophilia cells, we cultured the cells on streptomycin plates to look the transformants. Cells from the control culture received a working streptomycin gene and formed many colonies on the plate. However, a few cells grow from the UV culture. We thought this must be because UV had damaged the streptomycin resistant gene. But we had to rule out two other possibilities. The lack of growth in the UV culture could have been caused by some time in the solvent that after being altered by UV prevented the transformation. But we found this wasn't possible because normal DNA put into UV radiated solvent did not show any loss of transforming activity. But we found the other possibility was that the UV radiate irradiated DNA did not integrate into the hemophilus genome like unexposed exposed DNA. This would have given us the same result but for a different reason than our hypothesis. Instead of dying due to the DNA damage, cell would have died because they never received the streptomycin resistant gene. But we showed that the UV radiated DNA is just as likely to integrate into the Haemophilus genome as normal DNA. We were left with the conclusion that the UV damaged the DNA and the streptomycin resistance gene, uh, though we didn't know how. Then we then designed uh, an experiment to test our theory that light helped repair the damaged DNA. We mixed the UV irradiated DNA with an extract of E. coli cells and exposed one tube to light and one to dark. We hypothesized that light activated an enzyme in the E. coli extract and the activated enzyme repaired the DNA damage.
After several minutes, we removed the Haemophilus DNA from the E. coli extract and added it to a culture of streptomycin susceptible Haemophilus cells. If repaired, the DNA should transform these cells into streptomycin resistant cells. We found transformed cells in light cultures showing that a light activated enzyme in E. coli fixes DNA UV damaged. We, have, we had found the first known DNA repair system. Unfortunately for us, the enzyme responsible for the repair was present so few copies we never isolated it. It was eventually identified 27 years later. Additional research showed that this enzyme, photolyase, repairs a specific type of DNA damage called thymine dimers. The dimers are damaging because they stop DNA replications. During the DNA polymerization, a DNA polymer stalls at the position of thymine dimer. Dimers from when two adjacent thymines bind to each other instead of their complementary bases. UV light causes the dimers to form. Photolyase attaches to the dimer and breaks the thymine dim thymine thymine bond with energy from the light. Not all organisms use photolyase to fix dimers. Richard Stello, the bill carrier, discovered another system called excision repair that removes the dimer by removing a segment of the strand. The size of the segment depends on the organism. After this segment is removed, DNA polymer is fills in the empty space. DNA replication can also introduce errors into DNA. These errors are usually caused uh, or caught by the proofreading ability of the DNA polymerases. If the wrong base is incorporated, DNA polymer stops and removes the base before continuing the replication procedure. Several other repair systems exist to repair errors that slip past the proofreader as well as other types of damages beside dimers. DNA repair is an integral part of an organism well-being.